What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? I'm Chelsea. I'm Noah. And we're back with another banger. banger. If you're new here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then turn that bell on so you don't miss any one of our brand new posts. And what are we going to be doing today, baby? Today we're doing a cheap wine taste test. Oh, yes. Every single wine we're going to be trying today is actually under $10. Um, I think the most expensive one was actually $9.99, so right on the mark. But um, And we also got all of these at either Walmart or Kroger. So, Yep. Cheap wine. Sorry if you're not over 21. You know, you have to be over 21 for legal purposes. Everybody in this video is. So... And we are not wine connoisseurs, so do not come for us. Neither one of us really. I, I, the only reason I know anything about wine is because I used to work at Olive Garden, but I'm not a professional by any means. By any means. Neither am I. I have no idea, you know, good or bad. That's pretty much how I'm going to judge these. Yeah. But the first one we're going to be doing today actually was one of the most common ones, my customers or guests would order i guess at olive garden it's chateau saint michel this is a riesling or a white all righty so let's see how she tastes comment down below if you guys are more of like white if you don't really do wine do you like moscatos reds also comment down below your favorite cheapest wine under ten dollars yes because if you guys like this we will definitely do another one we just Thought it would be fun to do, so. There we go. Here's what it looked like in the glass. Should we swirl it like we know what we're doing? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Cheers, though. Cheers. Cheers, baby. I don't know how to hold this. Maybe like this. You feel me? It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but. <laughs> it's not bad, but. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe because that's just the first sip, you know, let me give it another one and see. So, I do know something I remember, you know, a little light flex from Olive Garden. Um, that whites and like Moscatos pair better with like lighter food, so like fish or chicken. Um, nothing with like too heavy of a flavor, so if you're going to do a white, there you go. And where did this one come from, babe? Did it say? Columbia Valley? Mm hmm. I don't know, but it says our delicious Riesling is sourced from both warm and cool sites in world class vineyards of Columbia Valley. Crafted for freshness and balance. It has lovely floral aromas. So it's not bad. I mean, I'm just not a wine person, so I don't know that I would like go and, oh yeah, like I'm in the mood for some Chateau today, but it's not bad at all. I think the next one. It's going to be this. I honestly think this is going to be the best one that we got. Shutter Home Pink Moscato. Right there. So. This was another one that I, I'm pretty sure it was at Olive Garden anyway. It was pretty popular. Alright. Pour me up. Whew. Okay. She pulled me up. There we go. It's a nice pink, pink Moscato. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think this is probably going to be the best one. I am excited. We also got a cupcake one. I'm excited about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Cheers. Cheers, baby. This smells good. Not bad. I definitely like this better than yeah, the Yeah, I do. This one is definitely better than the last one, for sure. It's sweeter. I think that's what it is, though. Like, the darker it is, the sweeter it is. Yeah. What do you guys think? Are you a Moscato person? Or are you a bubbly? Like, champagne? I love champagne. Oh, well. We have no idea what we're doing with this wine. Like, <laughs> we're just drinking this up. I got a bottle of wine laying around too. Go ahead and pour with a shot us. with us. <laughs> you know, might as well. And then comment down below, what are you drinking on? I really like that one. I'm probably going to actually finish that bottle. <laughs> I like that. True. 
All right, so next up, red velvet cupcake from Ooh. Cupcake Vineyards. This one says, Our red velvet is made up of grapes from some of the finest vineyards in California. This one shows a heady nose of chocolate, deep rich blackberries, red fruits, and a creamy mocha finish. Mm. Mm. This was a cake or a cupcake. Oh my god, it would be A1. I already know, just by the description. All right, and it's coming with a strong description, so like you better come equally as hard. Yep. Ooh. That's, That's a enough. deep. That's <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not gonna like this one. Yeah, I'm coming it. back. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. Nice and red though, y'all. Nice and red. I think I'm gonna like it. Maybe a little violet. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Cheers, baby. Ooh. Is it good? Drink it. I haven't tried it yet. I felt a oh, broken Excuse I'm a, me. I'm gonna wait on you. Yeah, dig. It's nasty, ain't it? You're probably not gonna like it. <laughs> it's not bad. Ew. I don't. Ew. It's terrible. I don't know. <coughs> I'm new to wine, but I feel like if I was a wine person, I would be a red wine person. I don't know why I just do. But. I definitely. Am I'm gonna not give it one more try. A red wine person. Or maybe it's just a food flavor drink in general, or usually nasty. Maybe that's why, but this is not good at all. You think so? Po up. <laughs> I don't. We got one more, y'all, and it's another red. I don't even know if I want to try it, to be honest. I don't know. What you thinking, babe? You want to try it or not? Nah? We got to try it. You right. I can just take a little sip of it. You right. So, ugh. I'm just kidding. Not off of this stuff. But this one is a Cabernet Sauvignon and it's yellowtail. This is from Australia. Sounds like five stars. Let's see what it's really like. Let's see. How many stars does the Noah Jones give it? Kind of smells like the last one. Lord have mercy. It does. Okay, you did the whole thing. Let's give them some props, y'all. Yeah, it's better than the last one, but it's still not good. Not great, no. Yeah, I'm definitely a white wine person, yeah. Yeah, this is better than the cupcake one. See, I, th I thought I was a red wine person. I am. Let's comment down below, y'all. Do you think you're a red wine person, a Moscato, a Riesling? A bubbly or you're like nah I'm liquor all the way uh -oh. <laughs> comment down below all right but well, we hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see us do more things like this comment down below comment your favorite wines or just drinks you might want to see us try down below and I hope you all stay blessed and healthy